A once peaceful country has spiraled into bloody turmoil. Innocent civilians have been killed and cities and towns have been destroyed. At the moment, there's no end to the violence inside and the new images we're seeing coming out of Ukraine grow more and more disturbing. Take a look. Bodies strewn across a mall parking lot in Kharkiv, Ukraine, the victims of a Russian missile strike. Innocent civilians slaughtered while waiting in line for humanitarian aid outside of a post office. With more than 1,000 civilians now killed in Ukraine, President Biden is sending a new warning if Russia unleashes a chemical weapons attack. We would respond. We would respond if he uses it. The nature of the response would depend on the nature of the use. Now as the world witnesses the fastest displacement crisis since World War II, the United States is vowing to take in 100,000 Ukrainian refugees fleeing Russian aggression. You see children without parents that are in those camps or in uh, refugees. You see women and husbands, men and women who are completely lost and have no nose. You see the look, that blank look on their face, that absolute feeling of, my God, where am I? What, what, what's going to happen to me? It's the start of the war a month ago. Mm -hmm. Out of every boy and girl in the country, one, or t one out of two now has had to flee their homes. It's a, it's a number, it's a situation we've not seen before, not in living memory, mm -hmm. you know, it, and it's, it, it's, it's almost impossible to deal with. Yesterday we hit a grim milestone. It's now been one month since Russia launched its lethal invasion into Ukraine. President Biden will be meeting with NATO leaders again later today.